Hi, everybody. If you can hear me, wave your hands. Amazing. Okay. Welcome to the beginning of another epic week of the Tehillim Army for Am Yisrael. Wow. Could you believe this is our fifth week all together storming the Shemayim? I, for one, for sure, I for sure cannot believe it because when we started this, I thought to myself, there's no way, there's no way that we're going to still be doing this in weeks and weeks from now, right? When we heard about the news in Eretz Yisrael, we were sad um, and we were hopeful also because we were looking for miracles and we're people who want miracles. Like who here wants a miracle? Raise your hand and scream out loud if you want a miracle. So we're Jewish people. We don't go by the laws of nature. We're people that we're not strangers to miracles. We can see Hashem's miracles in every single day of our lives. So welcome. And we are not going to give up. We are definitely not going to give up and we are not going to stop. And when people ask me, when people ask me, you know, how much longer are you going to do this for? Do you know what I say? I think I've told you this before. If you're not new here, I say to them, however much longer we need to be here to heal him never goes away. We can always say to heal him, but this kind of desperation where we need to get together and we need, we need, we need to say to heal him because we don't have another choice. Merza Hashem, if Hashem gives us koach and strength to continue, we will do it. We will do it tonight and tomorrow and the next night. And, and, and I hope by Hanukkah, we could all be together in Eretz Yisrael and Yerushalayim. But if Mashiach is not here, then we will even do it on Hanukkah. Who's going to come on Hanukkah if we're still doing this? That's right. That's right. We're going to do this no matter what. Nothing, nothing will stop us. We are the most powerful army in the universe. Who's part of the most powerful army in the universe? Let me see those hands. That's right, refs and kids. That's right, incredible twins. That's right, Fakeris. That's right, Seligmans. That's right, Inglewood. That's right, Fagy Bodner family and the Miller family. I'm not going to say everyone's names because there's almost a thousand of you already here today. Today, okay, so I, first of all, I didn't even introduce myself. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Mo Ritziri, and I'm from the Incredible Kids podcast, as you see behind me. And I'm so happy that you're all here. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here with us before, of course, welcome. Special shout out to all of the beautiful email, not the emails. I don't give a shout out to the emails. That doesn't even make sense. But shout out to the parents and the kids who let me know that this Shabbos, they did not rest from saying Tehillim and they intensified their Tehillim over Shabbos. I had a few emails from people saying how the kids were like Tehillim leaders. One boy went on to FaceTime before Shabbos with his Zadie and led Tehillim. I think his name is Baron Holtz. If you're a Baron Holtz kid, you should be very proud of yourself. And even if you didn't tell me, if you said an extra paragraph of Tehillim, my little daughter, Leora, who's not so little, she's big in my eyes. My daughter, Leora, she came to me after I lit Shabbos candles on Friday night and she said, Mommy, Let's sit down and say Tehillim together. And we did. And we said it's a parak of Tehillim and it was her idea. So you guys, what you're doing for Klal Yisrael is major. It's huge. And you inspire me to come on here every day. So anyone who says to me, thank you for doing this. I appreciate the thank you. But I'm doing it because you don't let me stop. You don't let me stop. It's your fault. It's totally your fault. And without further ado, we have a special guest here today who's going to inspire us. I'm so excited to introduce you to Rabbi Ari Schoenfeld. Rabbi Schoenfeld ran a huge program called Night Seder America during that horrible time called COVID. Um, and instead of looking at it as such a horrible time, he said, this is an opportunity for boys to get together and learn Gemara. And he ran an incredible program. Raise your hand if you remember Night Seder America or your brothers were part of it or your cousins. Wow, I see a lot of people. Beautiful. Oh, the Zollers. Those that must be, I think you might be related. Um, so so we're so happy to have him here. He also is, you might know him from Camp Ish. You might know him from Ice Cream from the Machatanim. You might know him from um Yeshiva Katana Manhattan. Is that what it's called? I didn't do my homework. Yeshiva Katana Manhattan. Okay. I'm not gonna embarrass him any further. Rabbi Schoenfeld, take it away. And then after that, we are going to be Davening together to Helim Sadi Aleph with Dovi Cantor. So lots of amazing things to look forward to. Let me just, Thanks. yeah, you yeah. good? Yes. Amazing. So first of all, thank you, Mora Siri, for giving me this incredible opportunity. And I feel a little bit like, for me, it's like a reunion. 
I see so many last names that I haven't seen um, in a while. Um, and as Moritziri mentioned, during that very, very difficult time period of COVID, so we had a program on Zoom, and I see some of the names there. See, I think Yosef Graham's sister, Yosef Graham, who won a, a segue on NSA. The Radish family is on. Palter, I think that's the Calter, if I'm correct, probably from Paul, from Portland, Oregon. I think it's the right. Um, I, let me see if I'm right. Is this Calter? Let me see if I can call on them. Let me try to do this. Um, Miriam Calter, could you unmute yourself? Let's see. Let's see if she knows how to. Um, maybe she doesn't know how. Oh, Miriam, are you from Portland, Oregon? Yes. <laughs> wow. So your brothers were on Nights at America, right? Yes. I think I even spoke in your family's sukkah, even though I've never been to Portland, Oregon, I, or, or for your brothers, Askala yeah. Sagamara from Portland. Amazing. So nice to see you, Miriam. And a lot of you, a lot of you, and I remember we did this, and, and as Moritziri, Moritziri mentioned, the, there is nothing more special to HaKadosh Baruch Hu than the learning Gemara and the learning Torah of Yeshiva boys, of Tehillim from as you, you reach the magic number. You reach the magic number, a thousand people on Zoom, which means there's so many more people that are trying to get on. Um, I'm happy that some of my Talmidim and my families, Mishiv Tam and Hanaran, I see the Lesh's family is on and the Simcha Lander and all his brothers and Mayor and Moshe are on. Um, I think Uri Hellman is on. Weinberg, I'm not gonna give you a shout out, um, but, and, it's, it's nostalgic for me, but it's really, really special to see that maybe some of you are sisters or brothers that were on Nights at America. You never heard of Nights at America. doesn't really matter. What matters is that we are here every night. And Moritziri, as someone that did it every night during um, COVID, Moritziri doesn't want to hear this, but I think we should all give a tremendous round of applause that Moritziri is able to, with her family, um, be there for all of you and all of us every single night. Um, a lot of you are asking, um, especially Leah um, from Brooklyn, um, Leah Schoenfeld, but whether, well, that's not Leah, that's Amalia, I'm sorry. Anyways, um, but whether we should play one hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four corpulin porpoises, some of you know what that is and I'm gonna stop there. I wanna tell you a story. I want to tell you a story. Eliana, thank you. Eliana, thank you. Um, I'm nervous, Brachi. It's not my fault. I'm not used to speaking to so many people. I want to tell you a story that has to do with the parak you're going to say tonight. And I want to tell you where I got this story from. It's a pretty amazing way I got this story because I have amazing daughters who I think are on tonight. Um, and let me see if they're still on or maybe if they're not, or maybe they left, maybe they thought their Abba was boring. So let's see. Um, are the Schoenfeld kids, let's see, could the Schoenfeld kids unmute themselves? I guess so. Hi guys. I have to now mute them. But anyways, good. So I was Friday night sitting at my family table. Um, we had the Goldbergs were in Muncie, so I couldn't be with the Goldberg clan and the Zollers were in Baltimore and the Buchwalds were in Houston. All of those are on tonight and it's basically national program. And my oldest daughter, Sarah, said to me, she said, Abba, I want to tell you a story. So I said, great. What's the story? And she started telling me the story and she said, I'm going to tell you a story about Moshe and Yehudis Spiro's son, Daniel. And I stopped her. And I said, sorry, I know the end of the story. And she's like, I didn't even start the story. Yet. I know the end of the story. How do you know the story? Because Moshe and you, the spirit, are my cousins. And I remember that story. And the story goes as follows. And it's very much, I want to read you a Pusik. Maybe we'll sing a little bit with the guitar. I see the gangers are on. Maybe the gangers can help me sing um, with the guitar. And that is a Pusik we say in Perak Tzadi Aleph, Loi Sira Mi Pachad Loila, Mechetz Yeof Yemam. Right, the song you know, the Benny Friedman song, the amazing song. Loisira, don't be afraid, me pachad loila. From the scariness of the night. Mechets yo'uf yemen, from arrows that fly during the day. Sometimes people get scared and it's actually normal and healthy and human to be afraid. And it's a little bit of a scary time now, 
we like to use, we, we wish it was always exciting. We wish we were always singing ice cream for the Machatanim. Someone asked me, um, what is the pshat and where did that song come from, ice cream for the Machatanim? Um, not allowed to say because the CIA doesn't let. It's a very secret song. They were not allowed to explain. The government, the FBI said, I'm not allowed to explain, so I can't. But, um, don't be afraid at night. So what happens when you're afraid at night? What do you do when you're afraid at night? So I'm going to tell you a story what happened with a cousin of mine. My cousin's name, it's my first cousin's first cousin, is Yehudis Spiro. Moshe and Yehudis Spiro, they live in Eretz Yisrael. And she wasn't feeling well one Friday night. And she woke up at three o'clock in the morning. She woke up at three o'clock in the morning. What's she going to do? It was before Mishpacha magazine and it came out. The Mishpacha Ami magazine came out. So she couldn't even read Mishpacha. So, and incredible kids, it's Shabbos. So this is 2001 or 2002. But anyways, it's Shabbos. So there's no incredible kids to do. So therefore, she took out a Tehillim. That's what she does when... She doesn't have what else to do. And she's stuck. And she was feeling pain. So at 3.26 in the morning, she said to Hillen for seven minutes. And if you do the math, I think the Fisher family from Muncie can do the math. If you do the math, 3.26 plus seven minutes is 3.33. She said to Hillen for seven minutes. I don't know what capital she said. I don't know what parrot she said. I don't know if it's Tadi Aleph. But she said to Hillen for seven minutes. And then she felt a little better. Her pain went away and she went to sleep. Motze Shabbos. Motze Shabbos, she gets a phone call. She picks up the phone, and it's her son, Daniel. Her son, Daniel, was in the Israeli army. He said, Ima, Ima, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. And she says, Daniel, what do you mean, what do you mean you're okay? Well, what happened? And he said, you're not going to believe what happened to me Friday night. She said, what happened? He said, I was doing patrol near a dangerous area. I think it was actually near Gaza, a place that we unfortunately know well too, all too well today. And we got attacked. And I thought my life was over. And, I, and somehow a nace happened. I stepped on what should have been a bomb and the bomb didn't go off. He said it was the biggest nace in the world. And I clicked on something and, and I, I, I thought for sure it would be the end. And I looked down and even though it clicked, the bomb didn't explode. And I was able to run away and five seconds later, the bomb exploded. And so can you imagine Ima a nace? And she's like, wow, that's amazing. And her father, his father was listening on the phone. And he said to him, Daniel, could you tell me one thing? And he said, yeah. What time was this story? What time did this bomb almost go off? And he said, why are you asking what time? And he said, well, he took out the, the piece of paper that they, they track everything that happens in the army. And he said, oh, it happened at 3.29 in the morning at 3.29 in the morning, and there's a gasp on the other side of the phone, a gasp. And she well, said, what, what's the gasp for? And his father said to him, Daniel, at 3.29 in the morning, Ima was saying to Hillen. And Daniel started crying. And he said, Ima, thank you for saving my life. She was saying to Hillen, and she didn't know the power of her Tehillim. Moritzibi talks about a Tehillim army that you all are. 1,000 here, a few thousand more together with your families and watching and other and through Yidflix. The thousands and thousands of army of Tehillim that we have. We are, as Amnech, as Isaac Olbaum said at the Siem on Seder Nashim, that every parak of Tehillim is a missile, is a defense missile, is a way to protect Klal Yisrael and who knows. Daniel Spiro at 3.30 in the morning got saved by his own mother's Tehillim. Who knows? And so the Pasuk that you're about to say is, Don't be afraid, when it gets a little scary at night. There are rockets flying. Don't be scared. Kodesh Baruch is Yoshev B'Seser El Yoyn. Kodesh Baruch was there for us. So I'm going to ask my assistant. That's the key, the code word we said is when I say the word assistant, my door is going to magically open. And one of my assistants is going to hand me my guitar and I'm going to sing the song just for 30 seconds because I don't want to take away from the Tehillim that all of you are going to say. And so, thank you. It happened magically. Thank you, Sarah. So I'm just going to sing just for a little bit. You should join with me. A song that, you know, 
Thank you, Maurit Siri, for giving me this opportunity. And for all those that are in Yeshiva Gadda, Manhattan, you better get on bed on time for a wonderful day tomorrow. Thank yeah. you so much. Wow. That's really funny. <laughs> you heard it from your principal. Right. Um, wow. Thank you so much, Rabbi Schoenfeld. That was so beautiful. And I have so many comments to say about so many things that you said, but I'm just going to say one comment. And one comment that I'm going to say is that sometimes, you know, we get scared and it's really, really normal to be scared, like you said. And um, to heal him, is very comforting. The words of Tehillim is very comforting. So when you're scared, kids, and you go, to, it, you don't have to be scared, by the way, if you do feel scared and you're going to sleep at night, say, an, uh, say a short parak of Tehillim before you go to sleep. And then it will, it will remind you that we have no reason to be afraid deep down. But if you are feeling scared, it's actually interesting that Tehillim actually can make us calm down and feel better because the words comfort us. So I think that is a very interesting point because Rabbi Schoenfeld was talking about how it literally says in this parak, Lo si rami pacha laila, don't be afraid even of the nighttime. Even Lord, in see, the nighttime. I give one more shout out? Just one. Yeah, My course. nephew's the Meister is good. I just have to, uh, the Meisters are on, the, they're on very Go often. Meisters, go. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Rabbi Schoenfeld. And feel free to join us for Tehillim. It's always very, very beautiful and inspiring. Um. Okay, so before we get to before I introduce Dovi, I'm going to look through the screen and I while Rabbi Schoenfeld was talking and singing, I saw so many beautiful children uniting. Some of them are by themselves, some of them are with siblings, some of them are with neighbors, some of them are with parents, some of them are on their bunk bed, and some of them are in the kitchen eating pizza. But everyone is here for the same reason to beg Hashem to bring us Mashiach. Let's see your Tehillims today. Who's prepared? Ooh, let's see. Um, we have, look at that. You have a bookmark. Let's see, pick it up a little higher. You made the logo of Incredible Kids. Look at that. We're the army team. Wow. Are you in the army team? Are you one of our commandos? Amazing. Okay, let's see who else we have here. I'm looking. Look at these. Look at these people. Look at them already. Each one with their own bookmark and a different to him, but all with the same beautiful words inside. Look at those smiles. You guys are precious. Okay, let's see. A couple more. Oops, what did I just press? Um, let's see. Meanwhile, you could be opening up to Perak Sadi Aleph, if you have not already. We're seeing Sadi Aleph today. Let's see. These people, I've never seen you guys before. Hello, last three family. Look at you all ready for Tehillim. Thank you for being here with us. And let's get one more for today. Let's get one more. This is my very special student. I was her mower when she was in kindergarten. Hi, Yael. You have two Tehillims. Are you saying it twice? <laughs> I love it. Thank you for being here. Okay. So everybody who's watching on Yidflex and everybody who's with us on Zoom, we are about to start at the Hillam and this is what we came for. I want to just point out something really fascinating about every parak of the Hillam, you say. We talked about feelings. To Hillam, the words of Tehillim written by David HaMelech, he understood feelings more than anyone else in the world. David HaMelech has been, was, went through the worst times of all. And yet he understood feelings. He understood what it means to be scared. He understood what it means to be alone. He understood what it means to be hiding. He understood what it means to be happy as well. And all of those feelings are in Tehillim. 
And in the beginning of each parak, sometimes he says like, Hashem, I'm so scared. Hashem, save me. I'm so scared. I'm in a cave. I'm hiding. Hashem, help me. I don't know if I'm going to win this war. And by the time it gets to the end of the parak, you can sometimes see how suddenly it changes and suddenly he feels more powerful and he feels Hashem's presence in a much stronger way. And by the end, he's like, Ezri mayam Hashem, everything is from Hashem. And he says things that are so powerful when you get to the end. So it's actually so cool when you learn the words. So if you want to ever learn the words, it's a very, very powerful experience. I am starting myself to learn to heal him. And this is totally, totally unsponsored. But I will first, I'm going to tell you at the end, a little secret about how I am learning to heal him now. But I want to say that tonight's to heal him that we're about to say, and actually the to heal him for this entire week has been de- dedicated by the Wasserman family as a chos for all our chayalim. And tonight specifically, the Tzadok family who said their favorite chayal is Chayim Ya'ir Ben Miriam Devora. We love you and we miss you, Uncle Chayim. And the Middleman family is Rafu Shalima for David Ben Rachalaya, Tehila Bas Yabas Chaya Tova, and Brina Yochaved Bas Shina Getal. So Hashem, please watch over our dear precious chayalim and all of the people suffering in Art Israel and in around the world. So now I'm going to find my friend Dovi Cantor. Um, Dovi, can you unmute yourself? Yes. And here he is with his adorable sister. What's your name? Mimi. Hi, Mimi. Okay. And I love more series. They love for the soul. Beautiful. That's your bookmark. So special. Tzadi Aleph is 91. So everybody open up to Tzadi Aleph 91. And we are going to have Dovi lead us. Um, you're going to start with Pasak Aleph. And then we're all going to repeat after you. Okay. Hey, are you ready? Because I'm not. <laughs> I'm still opening up my Tehillim to Tzadi Aleph. Okay, now I'm ready. I need a bookmark too. Okay. Yoshev Besesar Elyon Betzel Shada Yeslonan. Yoshev Besesar Elyon Betzel Shada Yeslonan. Omar Ladonai Maxim Sudasi Elohaya Tachbo. Omar Ladonai Marsi Umetsudasi Alohai Avtah Bo. He who yat silha mi pach yakush mi dever havos. He who yat silha mi pach yakush mi dever havos. Be ever so, Yosef, Lach, the Sahas, Kinapo, Perse, Sina, the Sohera, Anito. Be ever so, Yasek, Lach, the Sahas, Kinafav, Tarse. Sina Vesohira Amito. Lo Sira mi Paha Laila Mechet Yauf Yomam. Lo Sira mi Paha Laila Mechit Yauf Yomam. Mi Dever Ba Ofel Yahaloch mi Katav Yashud Saharayim. Mi Dever Ba Ofel Yahaloch mi Katav Yashud Saharayim. Ni Paul mi Sidha Ella or Baba mi Minaha Elecha Lo Yikash. Yipo mitzedcha elef urevava miminecha elacha lo yigash. Rach beinecha sabit ve shilumas reshaim tereh. Rach beinecha sabit ve shilumas reshaim tereh. Ki ata Adonai machsi elyon samta meonach. Ki ata Adonai machsi elyon samta meonacha. Lo se una elacha raa ve nega lo yikra be ahalacha. Lo se une e laha raa venega lo ye crab be ahalaha. Ki malaha ye tsavela, leshmarha beho de rahaha. Ki malaha ye tsavela, leshmarha beho de rahaha. Al kapayan ye sa unha pen tigo be even raglaha. Al kapayan ye sa unha pen tigo be even raglaha. Al Shahal Vafetan Tidroch Yir Mos Kefir Visanin. Al Shahal Vafasan Tidroch Tirmos Kefir Visanin. Ki vi Hashak Vafalteu Asagevehu ki Adashimi. Ki vi Hashak Vafalteu Asagvehu ki Adashimi. Dikra Eni ve Ehenehu Imo Anohi Vitsara Achalatsehu ve Ava Acha Videhu. Yekraini ve anehu imo anochi vetsara achaltsehu ve achabdehu. Over yamem as viehu ve arehu vishuasu. 
Orach yamim asbiehu ve'areu bishu asi. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Dovi. Dovi, where are you from? Chicago. Wow. Okay. Beautiful. Wow. I can't believe it. There's so much achdas going on here with kids from all over. We love having you on. Thank you so much, Dovi. Bye. Okay. Everybody, I'm going to say um, a tefillah called the Misha Beirach. It's written for the Chayalim, but we're going to have in mind the soldiers, the soldiers who are fighting and also the soldiers who are injured that need our tefillahs because maybe they got, you know, injured when they were fighting. And we're going to think about the children and the families that need to be reunited again. And we're going to think about all of them. And I'm going to say the words and you will say amen when I'm finished. Mishabeach avosinu Abraham Yitzchak Biakov, who Yavarech as a Chayalim, Haumdem al Mishmar Artsinu, the Ari Elohinu, Itina Dunai S. Ivinu, Hakamim Alinu Negafim Lifnehem, Hakadosh Barahu Yad Barson Inu Tachtehem, the Yatrim, the Kasar Yeshua, Uba Ataras Nitzachon, the Kuyam Baham and Kasav Kia Dunai, Elohicham, Hahuli, Himacham, the Hilachim, the Ham, Emaidicham, the Hoshia as Hem, the Nomar Amen. Please, Hashem, end all of their suffering. And this chos of all of these special children who are gathered. I just want to say one thing before we say goodnight, everybody. And that is that what you're doing by coming on here, you might think this is just fun. You know, sometimes it is fun and it's okay. It's good that we're having fun. You might think that this is just about you know, getting to see other people's houses and getting a scoop into people's lives and what people are eating for supper. But we all know that we're here for the Tehillim. And what's so special is that we're all, we're all uniting in this way. So even if the Tehillim wasn't a thing, the Achdos is so special, the Achdos that we're all seeing each other. And it doesn't matter if you're Hasidish, it doesn't matter if you're Sparty, it doesn't matter if you're, I don't know, whatever people say, Yeshivish or modern and all these words, nothing matters when it comes to being a Yid. We're all exactly the same and our hearts are united right now, no matter what. But then we have Tehillim. And what happens with Tehillim is that the words of the Tehillim are so powerful and so like transformative, like magical, that all the Tehillim coming from a place of Achdos is gonna is like shooting rocket ships to Shemayim. You cannot even begin to imagine. So I feel so <laughs> I feel so lucky. I feel so lucky to be with all of you every night. And thank you, Hashem, that we have children like you because you're all going to grow up and you are going to each become a very, very special adult one day. And already now, you're already making such a big difference. Keep this these messages with you your entire life and don't ever forget your power. Doesn't matter what, each of you are special in such a special way. And I know I'm grambling, but I just want to just... I want to like, I, I want to meet every single one of you and tell you personally, for real, I want to go over to the, to the lab of its family who's holding up this adorable sign the whole time. And I want to go over to the Klein family and the Welder family. And I want all of you to know how special you are. So can you please pretend that I told you that personally, because I want you to know, and now I'm going to pick the raffle. Thank you, Kaufman kids for reminding me. Um, we have a very generous donor who told us that every night I can raffle off a book and he's going to mail it to you right away. And he already mailed out the one from last week. So this is a completely random raffle, random, not because you're any better than anyone else. Just one person on this call is going to win a special book called Living Amuna for Kids. And the winner of today's is the Friedberg family. It says Ezra Friedberg. Okay, amazing. I'm so happy for you. Can you tell your parents to email me? iKidsPodcast at gmail.com. Tell them to email me. Hi, we're the Friedbergs, and we won a book. Okay? Got it? Thumbs up if you understand. Awesome. Okay, everyone else, let me just tell you, if any parents are there, it's worth listening to this. This is totally not sponsored, but my friend who works at Mosaic Press, which I did on my podcast for Incredible Kids, um, there's a man who works there. His name is, um, Rabbi Haber and he, um, is very nice. And I told him that I re I saw this book on his website. It's like a, a three part series. It comes with like five, I think it has like five volumes living. It's called living to hell. Let me see how fat it is. And he sent me the entire, um, set of these. And I've been like this, you know, like when you're reading a book and you're like this, like the whole time, cause it's such a good book. 
Like if you need, if you wanted to find me on Chavez, I was like this. I was hiding behind living to Helen. And it's literally un- not sponsored. I think it's such a beautiful book because it goes through every single paragraph to Helen and it teaches you like everything you should know about it. It's so, so, so special. And I'm gonna stop talking because you guys all have to go do your homework and go to sleep soon. But it's an amazing book. And if you go onto the Mosaic Press website and use the code KIDS18, you get um I think it's 18% off. Wouldn't that make sense? Kids 18. I don't even remember anymore, but it's still valid. The code kids 18 from incredible kids. So if anybody wants to order anything from that website, you can get 18% off. Shh. Don't tell anyone. It's a secret. Anyways. Okay. Good night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow with Shulam Lemmer. Thank you, Rabbi Schoenfeld. Thank you everyone for joining us and have a good night. Bye.